Tabitha Carroll. Crafts by two viewers. Hi, and welcome to Crafts by Two. I'm George. And I'm Ken. And this is your graduation ceremony. Woo! If you've watched all of our coloring book SVGs, and you feel that you've learned something, we want you to download this SVG from our website and cut it on your cutting machine. I designed this completely in Inkscape. So see what you can do just by using Inkscape? We know it's been a lot and there was a lot to learn, so we felt you all deserved a diploma. So not only are we giving you the file, but we can't help but show you how to do it. So George is gonna show you how he put together the certificate. A lot of it's in Fast Forward. So I've already cut out all the pieces to the certificate and I have the smaller pieces in a large Ziploc bag. Some of the things that we're gonna need besides that is a printout of the SVG file. This will help make placing pieces easier and then for your final project, an 8x10 frame. I got this one from Joann's for about $3 with a coupon. So let's start by taking the printout. And we're going to cut right across the letters for crafts. And then we're going to take our background piece, which is this purple piece, put the photocopy on top of it, hold it up to the light to line it up, and then set it back down. We don't have to be perfect. Then I have a little piece of painter's tape that I'm going to put on it just to hold it in place. We'll set that over to the side with this for right now. Let's take out all of our letters. And then we're going to put the colored pieces onto the black shadow pieces. And we're just going to use some mini dipping dots to do that. Let's get the F. Because I'm going to put this in a frame, I'm only going to have to use one glue dot to hold it down. And I'm just going to fast forward through this so you guys don't have to watch me placing letters on top of black shadows. There, now we have all of our letters stuck onto the shadows and we can work on the main certificate. So I am still going to use some glue dots. And just put them in the corners. The two top corners for now. And we're going to line up the bottom to our printout. And you know, I, I put it over the 
painter's tape that we used. So I'm just going to move it over to the side and reposition this again and then put it down. So now I can take this off, hold it up to the light again to line it up. And I think this time, so the tape doesn't get in the way, I'm going to put it on the back. And then all we have to do is line up the letters here, like that. So I'm just going to fast forward through this, and we're still going to use glue dots. Now we have crafts laid out. I think what I want to do next is put on our frame, which goes approximately here. And I think I will do that with the help of some Zig two-way glue. And for this piece again, only going to glue at the top. So let's line it up on the printout as best we can and then push down those corners that we applied the glue to. And really, for the rest of this project, we won't need the printout, so let's just take that off. Oh, and of course my R got caught. There. Now, I know from doing our logo that the by two goes under the T to under the S. So you can do that really any way you want, either with some zig glue or with the tape runner. Um, I think I might do it with some zig glue tonight. Now, if you were nervous about where you were going to place the letters, you could take this printout again and cut off through the by two and place it back on here, line it up, holding it up to the light with this, and then just placing the letters and gluing them at the top. But I feel confident enough that wherever I'll put them, will be pretty good. Though I don't trust my big fingers. So I'm going to use a pair of tweezers. If you look at the printout, the T kind of goes under the S. Just going to kind of eyeball it. There, crafts by two. Now we need to take the how to badge and put it on the seal. And again, if you want to, you could take this and cut a line or cut it with your paper cutter through the how so you can line it up. But I don't think it's all that important. Having fun is important, and I think. Doing this by hand will be fun. So I am just kind of going to line it up, center it above the 2014. There we go. And then this is going to come down here in the corner. Now at this point, if you don't feel comfortable leaving these unglued, feel free to go ahead and glue it. But if you're going to put it in a frame, the glass will hold this all pretty much in place. So I am just going to use some more glue dots to put this on our piece.
Again, you don't have to be exact. Get it straight. I think that looks good. Ta-da! Then you just write your name in here. Let's move this out of the way for a second. Put our glass in. Put our piece in. And once I put the back in, it'll be all held in place. And don't forget, on April 30th at 8.30 p.m., we're going to be having a Google Hangout so you can get your questions answered. So if you've had a problem image or something that you just find a little too tricky, join our Hangout. And if you have an image you want to try out at that Hangout, send it to us now at craftsby2 at gmail.com so we can make sure we're ready to address your questions. And don't forget, Melody Lane, Tabitha Carroll, and us are sponsoring a washi tape contest on Facebook in the Craft Deals and Reviews group. If you're not a member, join. It's free, and we have a lot of fun. And that contest is wrapping up soon. All you have to do is put up a photo of your washi, washi tape, tape creations, and you could win 12 rolls of washi tape. Or more. Right. So that contest ends April 30th. We're almost up to 500 subscribers. Right now, I think five or six away. Yep. So once we reach 500 subscribers, we'll be doing a contest. If you look at our last video, our April haul, we're asking people to vote on which Cricut cartridge they would like us to give away. Remember, you don't have to own a Cricut to win. You could always sell it or give it to a crafting friend who has one. And if we blow past 500, we might throw in some more stuff or even have a few extra winners. Not my washi tape. Yes. That's exactly what I was thinking. Nope, nope, nope. So remember to give us a thumbs up on Facebook and to subscribe if you haven't already and tell all your friends just how funny <laughs> we are sometimes when Ken doesn't take my horn away. So remember, visit our website to get this SVG file and cut it out. We'd love to see what you guys create with this SVG file. Use different papers. You don't have to do it the way we did it. Make it your own. So now that we're done with the Coloring Book SVG series, we can show you some of the other crafts we've been waiting for a while to do. But after we get a bit of those out of our system, we'll be coming back to SVGs because a lot of people want to know how to work with color images and with photos. So we'll have a few of those coming up. We'll also be touching on fonts and what you can do with fonts in Inkscape. So until next Tuesday, or probably sooner, we'll see you guys later. Bye. Bye. Where's my horn? He took my horn. I didn't take your horn. Well, I know he's not talking, so he, he's kind of funny just... Oh, stop. You're a monster.